only on RTB6. It's a story decades in the making. Today, a 102-year-old Muncie woman climbed into an Indy car and she sped around the track. She had some help, of course, from some family members as well as a racing legend. RTB6 reporter Chance Walser is live at IMS now with the rest of the story. Chance. Edith Pittenger was born in 1912, the year of the second Indy 500. She's a bit older now, and things at the track are moving quite a bit faster. But today, with the help of a racing legend, she's managing to keep up. For the most part, Edith Pittenger leads a quiet life in her quiet Muncie home. She likes to knit to keep her hands loose. There it goes. She fondly tells the story of when she first drove a car at the age of 12. I would just jump in the car, and the kids would ride on the running board, and we'd go around the reformatory that's down at Pendleton where I was born. Now, 90 years later, her need for speed persists, and she's traded laps around a reformatory for laps around the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. I was just happy to be doing it, <laughs> and we went fast. With Mario Andretti as her escort and driver today, the two suited up and drove off, reaching speeds of 180 miles per hour. Her grandson, Garrett, took this video. I know people in their 70s and, and 80s who, I mean, they're pretty, who are bedridden and they can't get around or hardly do anything. But I mean, my goodness, she's 102 and she's going 180 miles an hour, at least in a race car. He didn't slow down around those curves. That's what surprised me. Several laps later, Edith crossed the finish line to the applause of the crowd with a smile on her face. And it wouldn't be a 500 finish without a sip of milk at the end of a thrilling day, 102 years in the making. Believe it or not, this is Edith's second experience similar to this. Several years ago, she shared a cockpit with Ari Leindyke. That was when she was much younger, though, 96 years old. Live at the Speedway tonight, Chance Walser, RTV6.